25, and it features all of the medalists in the 100 and 200 in London 2012. Anna Luxerva of the Czech Republic was not one of them. Neither actually was Aaron Walters of Australia, but with the new lifetime best of 17.21, might just fancy a chance slightly here. Bronze medalist in Christchurch for Great Britain, Sophia Warner. 16.33, her personal best set this year. We had the same result in the 100 and 200 in London. Silver medal in both for Oksana Corso of Italy. Born in St. Petersburg, adopted by an Italian family, kept a Russian name. <laughs> Lu Ping of China. World champion. London 2012 champion. 100 and 200 in this T35 category. Virginia McLaughlin, bronze medalist in both 100 and 200, behind Corso in silver and looping gold. Carly Salmon of Australia is in lane seven. Svitlana Nikitina of Ukraine is in lane eight. An event which was not run in 2008 or 2004. It's actually beginning to rain here now. That's unusual for this week. So the T35 women's 100 meters final, Luxova in one, Walters two, Warner three, Corso four, Looping five, McLaughlin six, Salmon seven, Nikitina is in lane eight. Some standing, some on the blocks. Full start. So they'll have, oh, hang on a sec. Well, somebody's shooting away. And now she realizes the Ukrainian, Mikitina. She was winning, but there was a very good reason for that. So we had the two gunshots, first for the start of the race, second for the stopping of the race, and then immediately a thunderbolt. So uh, maybe no wonder she didn't hear the second gun, because the thunder came just at the same time. It started, I think, in lane one, but we're talking about T35s, so red cards would be... Very harsh, wouldn't it? I thought Chen of China twitched just slightly, but it was definitely lane one to have the problem, but please don't let it be a red, that would just be awful. Uh, I think there is a direction. Done. <laughs> well, that's certain categories. Very nicely done by the official there, because she will be nervous with it being a final. So second time of asking, the women's 100 meters, T35, Luxova of the Czech Republic and one. That was another thunderbolt, by the way. You saw the lightning strike, you've just heard the thunder. Luxova, Walters, Warner, Corso, Luping, McLaughlin, Salmon, Mikatina, and they're away in the second time of asking. What a stop by Corso and four. Here she comes, Luping with a chance for his spot. Corso's taken away. McLaughlin coming up the cut of the hair. Can Corso hang on? I think she will. She's got the goal for Italy, Oksana Corso. 15.65 is very, very fast. And if it gets any faster, She'll have the world record, and she does! It's a new world record by one hundredth of a second. 15.63. Russian born in St. Petersburg, but she's grown up in Milan, run for Italy, and Oksana Corsa has a new world record. Silver all the way in London. She's a golden girl now. And it's a North American record for Virginia McLaughlin in second for Canada. Well, by word, Lu Ping, who won everything and swept all before her the last two years, has to settle this time for bronze. All three medalists from London 2012 have done it again, but in a different order. And just look at Corso go. That was all about desire. She takes the gold. McLaughlin. The silver, and my word, Lu Ping was almost run out of it, I think, by Sophia Warner of Britain. Finished in fourth place. 
So Corso wins it, McLaughlin second, Lu Ping the bronze, and Warner fourth place, very close. Oh, but that was a brilliant race by Xana Corso, and she knew pretty much instantly in the Leon Ray that she had done it. And in a new world record time as well, 15.63. Continental.